Welcome to the Easy Computer Fixes channel. This is a quick video to show you how to check your hard drive for problems. If you think your hard drive has a problem or maybe you have an external hard drive that's giving you problems and you want to try to fix it and having um, maybe corrupt files being uh, fixed up. In Windows you have a great little utility that will do that and it's the check disk utility. You might have seen one of the videos that I put online where I use check disk on a bootable media like the Windows 7 disk for example. If your computer doesn't boot up uh, there's a way to repair it. But uh, if your computer is running and you want to try to fix uh, maybe check for errors on your hard drive or check for errors on an external device well, just go into your start menu at the bottom left and in that little search box there, just type CMD for command and you'll be in the command prompt. There, just type CHKDSK for check disk space the drive you want to look at. If it's the drive in your computer, just type the C colon if it's an external hard drive you'll have to know what the letter associated so where you find that information is by going to the start menu and to computer and look at the hard drive so for example I have a D drive that I might want to check so I'll do that if it's a external hard drive you'll have it in the removable storage section where it's gonna say uh, E or F or whatever letter you see so Keep note of that letter for that drive that you want to check. Then go into check disk, space, the letter of the drive, colon, space, slash, and you gotta have the slash in the good order. So if you're unsure where your slash is, um, make sure that you know. You need the right, the, um, what's called the forward slash which is the one that starts at the bottom, the uh, top right to the bottom left and then type R for recovery. You can do just a check disk with the letter of the drive and put nothing else and it's gonna check your drive and if something is wrong it's gonna give you a little report saying well there's some problems on the drive. Um, why not just do a repair um, it's gonna be longer, yes, but at least if it encounters a problem, at least it won't tell you, well, I s encountered problems, so it means that you have to go back here and do it again. By doing it, check disk, the letter drive, the drive letter uh, slash R, you know that if it encounters a problem, it's gonna to wanna to fix it. So you just type it and let it go. Uh, here I don't have privileges because it's not in a uh, administrator. So if it does tell you that, what you'll need to do is go into the start menu, go into all programs, and into accessories. And there in the command prompt you can right click and run as administrator on the command prompt and do it again. On Vista and Windows 7 this might be a problem so you might want to do that exactly as it is. So chkdsk um, space the drive letter colon space slash r and press enter and then you'll see the file type. If you are trying to scan the drive that Windows is actually using it's going to tell you that it cannot do it and it's going to prompt you, do you want me to do it at the next startup? Just answer yes and restart your computer and uh, check disk will actually operate before Windows starts up the next time. Check disk is a great, great utility if you think your hard drive has corruption on it, has bad files, maybe bad sectors. Uh, check disk with the uh, slash R option checks pretty much everything in the entries and on the hard drive itself. Now keep in mind if your hard drive is big, this can take a very long time to process. A check disk can take up to 
an hour, an hour and a half easily on many computers. So be careful in how you use it and when you need to use it. If your computer um, sh shut, shuts down by itself sometimes or if you had a power outage maybe it froze up and you just shut down by uh, um, taking out the power or pressing the power button for five seconds these are all reasons why you might want to do a check this to make sure everything's okay on the hard drive um, having power shut off in the middle of a Windows session is often um, a cause of problems on uh, Windows so you might want to check that because files might be corrupt on your hard drive if you enjoy these videos uh, please subscribe to our channel and you'll be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments questions on what you've seen let us know and uh, maybe you have a feature uh, a problem that you want us to talk about and try to do a video to help uh, let us know and we'll try to put that video online and you'll be helping others at the same time and uh, hope you enjoy our videos and that uh, you'll come back to the Easy Computer Fixes channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.